friends this is dr mohanty again and uh, i'm going i'm discussing some of the common questions that are put forth to me by various by different patients so as part of that series today i'm going to talk on different types of pacemakers because that is a very common question which is asked by many patients and their relatives so pacemakers as we know they are uh, battery operated devices which serve as backup for patients who have got decreased heart rate or else in some cases where the heart function is less than normal so what are the different types of pacemakers we commonly hear single wire double wire pacemaker so what are these different types so let me explain that to you in a small diagram here so normally the heart has got two upper chambers and two lower chambers so these are the two upper chambers and these are the two lower chambers so normally there is a synchronous contraction such that both of these upper chambers contract simultaneously and both of the lower chambers they contract simultaneously and they are in sequence meaning the electrical impulse starts from the upper chamber and then goes to the lower chamber so actually speaking if your lower chambers are contracting normally then a person can survive even if the upper chambers are not contracting but for a smooth functioning of the heart there has to be sequence where the upper chamber contracts first and the lower chamber contracts second now when we say a single wire normally the pacemaker is implanted far away and we send wires from the pacemaker when we say a single wire it basically means that the wire is coming and supplying only the lower chamber this is known as the single chamber pacemaker so in this it is supplying only the lower chamber so this is the chamber which contracts first but there is no synchronous contraction between this and chamber and this chamber and this chamber and this chamber so that is why we have something known as a double wire pacemaker which we call as dual chamber pacemaker in this there is a second wire which comes to the upper chamber now because of a computer programming inside the pacemaker it programs in such a way that first the upper chamber contracts and then the lower chamber contracts so this becomes more like a normal way of the heart functioning in which the upper chamber contracts first and the lower chamber contracts first so most of the times people use a double chamber pacemaker that is a double wire pacemaker because it is more of a normal pacing system than the single wire pacemaker however if cost is a constraint then a single wire pacemaker serves the basic purpose of keeping somebody alive after this then there is something known as a three wire pacemaker now what is a three wire pacemaker now three wire pacemaker is used in some patients in whom the heart functioning that is the pumping of the heart is weak now basically in some of these patients in which there is a weak pumping of the heart the main problem lies in a dissynchrony between this chamber and this chamber both of these are lower chambers however both of them they should contract simultaneously when both of them are not contracting simultaneously that leads to heart pumping less so in such cases we put a third wire which comes to the second lower chamber so basically by the computer programming what happens is this contracts first and both of them they contract synchronously this way if the heart's pumping is less then the pumping can be improved at the same time this third wire also helps in putting a shocking device inside the body for some patients in whom the rhythm may be irregular or in whom the rhythm may be such that it can cause sudden death in those patients in those patients we also put a system wherein the main pacemaker detects any abnormal rhythm and it can give directly a shock to the heart so that uh, if there is a abnormal rhythm that gets corrected so to summarize to survive we just need a single wire pacemaker that is good enough it serves the purpose a double wire pacemaker acts more like a normal heart functioning and that is why that is more commonly used but it is costly than a single wire pacemaker a three wire pacemaker is used only in those circumstances where the heart is weak in pumping and where there is a dissynchrony between these two chambers so that is the only place where we use a three wire pacemaker so these are the different type of pacemakers which are used in normal practice